talk dirty to me. Hello my beautiful people, it is Cherry Hart here and I am back with another video. This is part two to my work vlog. If you guys have missed out on part one, which is Wednesday and Thursday, which is my week vlog, it is here. Make sure you go watch that if you want to keep up with my weekly total and what happened Wednesday and Thursday. It was pretty crazy, had some funny things happen, a lot of content over here. I'm trying to do more content for you guys, so Wednesday and Thursday's video is right here. Click here if you want to watch it before this one and I will see you guys soon. So if you guys are new here, I'm an Australian stripper. I work at the Vault in Ruthven in Toowoomba and I'm also the social media manager for the Vault's Instagrams. I also do OnlyFans content, which is linked all linked below. My TikTok, my OnlyFans, my Instagram, um, and my website, which is where I help OnlyFans creators get ahead. Um, it's got calendars to purchase with content to post on every single day of the month for your feed, PPV, and captions. You get three things every single day of every single day of the month. They are $15 and I also have tipping menus available to purchase for $10 and you can edit the price of them too if you don't like the price that I've set as well as options if you guys want to include more kinky things or just take out the kinky things all of that sort of thing it is now Friday I've worked Wednesday and Thursday am I tired yes am I ready to make tons of money absolutely I'm on the grind I'm literally on the grind as you guys know like I'm a smoker don't know what really that has to do with anything. I'm a smoker, which means I weigh up how much I've worked on the total of smokes that I have. It sounds bad, I know. I know how it sounds. I promise you, my voice isn't like this because of how many cigarettes I smoke. It's like this because, I don't know, actually, yeah, probably. My voice did used to be really, really high pitched. And like, I, well, like, I know I hit puberty, but my testosterone didn't drop, I'm a female. Unless we're missing something here. Hey, baby. Good morning, say hi to the camera. Ooh, yay, little. Anyways, this is my meal. I did tell you guys I was thinking about going on a liquid protein diet. That's this, bottoms up. Bottoms up. It's literally so good. It's a low calorie, high protein, but I called my mom and told her I was going to do it. She's like, oh my God, you can't do that for longer than five days. Actually, she doesn't sound like that. She's pretty chill. She's like, yeah, just, you know, make sure you don't do it then for a while because you still need to chew food for your gums. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. The more you know. So just doing this for a couple days because I feel... I just feel inflated. Also my car today, let me, t let me, let me show you something. Let me show you something. So a, about a week ago, really funny, right? I had, I had really bad dreams. I was actually telling you guys about this in my last vlog. I was having like really intense dreams. I had this one dream, one dream on the 3rd of February, I had a dream that my car, I was driving my car, brum, brum, driving it, right? And then all of a sudden I went to go grab something. So I turned off my car, I hopped out of the car. I went to go do something. I came back to the car. I tried to turn it over and it wouldn't turn over. And instead it was making this god awful hum, like airy sound. It was not nice, not a good time, absolutely not. So anyways, there was this like person that tried to help me and then it finally turned over again. It was fine, like I was on the phone to mom and I was like calling her and then she like redirected me like to someone else to call them and so that was my dream, right? And this is what my dream interpretation said. I called mom today after it and just to prove that this had happened. I literally screenshotted, yeah. On the 3rd of February, you can see it up the top, 3rd of February, I'm on the phone. You can see the little green, I'm actually on the phone reading it to my mother. If in a dream, well you can read it yourselves. But basically it's not a good thing. It's not really a great thing if the car admits a straw, a strong roar or hum. And you know what, it was a pretty damn strong um and roar. And I, there were so many different variations of like your car breaking down until I found this one and go bang. Bang on. The sound that my car was making in my dream actually like felt like it was waking me up. I felt like I was lucid dreaming. And like, I think I was lucid dreaming because I like, can remember everything in the way that like, it felt so real. Like I felt like everything was just real. I don't know. The reason that I feel like it was a lucid dream is because it was like in a car park and I know like the, the space pretty well. And I was like, that's not usually there. And then I woke up in the, in the dream. Today, when I tell you the exact same thing happened to me today, the exact same thing. Down to the, I was at Zarafa's, come back, leave my car, come back, it was working fine, turn it over. The worst strong raw hum that it's ever admitted from the car. I was like, what the hell is that? This lady hops out of a car, tries to help me, you know, she's like, she's like, let me pop the bonnet for you. I was like, it's okay, I can I can pop the bonnet, it's all good. She was like, okay, let me like have a look for you. I was like, it's it's fine. I was like, she was doing, she was being really nice. I was just like, I get when I, when I get really overwhelmed, I just don't like people in my space. I'm like, huh, because I get really like, 
agitated i just need to calm myself down so if someone's like at me that i don't know i'm like Ugh. freak out mode i'm not like rude about it i just get like freak out mode anyways yeah to prove that this happened today i've actually got a screenshot of me literally texting my stepdad literally today 12 45 at northport the ford's not turning over making a really airy sound mom said to call you to see if you know what it is it won't start actually never mind it's working now dead ass guys thought i'd tell you that cool little story i'm not gonna do the money count for what i made for wednesday and Thursday that will be in the other video, but I am gonna give it right at the end of this video I'm gonna do a collective total of what I made over the week. Um, and I'm gonna wear What am I gonna wear? Ooh, yeah, baby. I'm gonna wear this set. I'm really thinking How cute. I love this set so much. So I think I'm just gonna I, I curled my hair with a curling wand not a um Not the Dyson. We'll see how long these curls last tonight. We're gonna make tons of money We're gonna have like a three grand week all place your bets now how much you think I'm gonna make in the comments. Let's do that. Everyone like place a place a bet of how much you're gonna think I'm gonna make tonight. Put it all in the comments and then come back to it right at the end when I say my total. I think that will be really cool. Like of tonight, not like of the whole week, but just tonight. Let's do that. That's that's fun. Let's let's have some fun. Let's do that. What's your pain in the ass? Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's no one out here, so I'm free to do what I want. Welcome to Cherry Hearts uh, vlog for a Friday. Can't remember. She was here on a Wednesday and it just it confused me for the rest of the days. week. It's like one day I'm like, just hustle myself and then she's here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm just in your fucking. I'm in You're your in my way. <laughs> Well, there's people out there. When we walked in, had a little squeeze. T-Bar is popping at the moment. Not too bad. Yeah, you're doing very Good well chat. tonight. Good chat. Yeah, you're doing great. Well, I have nothing to tell. I have no stories yet. Uh, uh, yeah, I you tell know you when you, like, create the stories? Do you remember last week when I was talking about that car dream that I had? Yes. Yeah, guess what happened to me today? No, I'm a bit dead ass. No. no I'm being dead ass. No, I'm not even fun with you. I've literally got proof. I've literally got proof. Exactly the way my dream had. You know how I said it admits a strong hum, won't turn over, really loud, airy hum, like, and then I hopped out of the car, hopped back in, and then it turned on again? <laughs> that literally happened to me today. No, said dead ass. I've even got the messages to fucking prove it. And I've got the screenshot of when I took that dream analysis, which is uh, um, on February the 3rd. And then, yeah, this is a screenshot of me texting Sean, being like, hey, this is from today. Hey, at North Point Four's not turning over, making a really weird airy sound. Mum said to call you, won't start. Actually, never mind, it's working now. She's it's literally proof I told this dream to last week. I was week. there for that, yes. I think I even said it on the vlog. How weird. But aren't dreams like something like predicting the future? Don't they predict the future, some people? Uh, Shall we look in Cherry's locker? Let's see what she's got yeah, going on. Expose. Shall we expose her? It's so messy. Why do you have a flat cap in here? There's her. There's her. It's fucking exposing me. There's a razor. There's a little. What is this? Um, that was from a booking that I got. <laughs> and he is it Etch a Sketch? Yeah, he brought it in with him, so he gave it to me. Mini oh, Etch a Sketch. Friend. Now let's go look in Brooklyn's locker. I have lots of like personal photos in there, so I can't show a lot. I just have like a lot of photos. But I have like six deodorant cans, six different perfumes, baby wipes. All the shit on top of my locker. Like. It fell over. Hey babies, we're gonna go out on the floor. I would show you Savannah, but she's naked, so uh -huh. I cannot. Woohoo! Woo All right, let's go make some moolah. I'm teaching Savannah how to open my camera. I have a feeling she's gonna come out here and vlog while I'm, while I'm no. not here. While I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> my guy from two Thursdays ago that did the VIP with we booked me for two hours. He came back and it was funny because like we made a bet. I was like, all the money in the world. I was like, all the money in the world, you'll come back to see me. He went, all the money in the world that I, you'll never see me again. And he's back, but they're refusing to pay anything. I did get $50 to play one topless, I mean not topless, sorry, just one normal pool game. And then they were going to book me for another normal pool game, but like because the guy that I was with didn't want to pay, they didn't end up by paying it. So yeah, and then I just got pulled into a 10 minute couples dance with this girl who I've danced for before. She was hoping that I was here so she could book me with her two friends. So I booked a 10 minute couples. I mean, I'm waiting for my regular to come in for his birthday because he's the one that bought the bath mat off me a couple, like a month or so ago, like two months before Christmas. He bought the bath mat and it was a funny, like, bondage experience that I've told you guys about. Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> that I won the award for at our work party. I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about that. Here's a video from that. So 
hilarious. They play like the videos because I let Jesse film in there because I don't care. Um, he, they play the videos of me absolutely beating the hell out of him in there. And he'd be like, oh, my house, my house, my house. But it was all consensual, obviously. And other than that, there's not many people in here right now. There's a couple I hustled right at the beginning, but they're sitting with a girl at the moment. So I'm not sure if they'll be booking, but not too bad so far. So like 9.30. <laughs> I'm so sad, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna get like snippets of you and be like, what's happening? It's actually been not too bad. I ended up like, getting a, I'm trying to think of the dances. Oh yeah, the 10 minute couples. And then I did a 10 minute dance and then I got pre-booked for a 30 minute. And then my regular here that bought the bathroom and stuff, he's here up in the v uh, VIP booth. He's doing a, he just booked me to do a stage right. show. But I reckon he's probably gonna do a bunch room later on. I do be thinking, I do be thinking. I reckon he'll budge, I reckon he'll start doing that. So yeah, I'm gonna get him up on stage soon. It's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I love I love when he comes in. He's such a little gem. But yeah, um, the half an hour dance. Oh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what is happening? That group of those three boys that I end up getting a dance with. Um, the one that I was dancing with was pretty quiet. He's alright, but like the chick before that, she was lovely. Love her. Uh, but yeah, the guy I was dancing for was pretty quiet and like was trying to make small talk, but he just wasn't vibing with the small talk. So yeah. Now I'm just waiting on my regular. So I've ended up by, it's picking up pretty well. Um, I still haven't done that stage dance yet. We've got to wait for him to sober up a little bit. Um, I ended up by doing a five minute couple, two five minute couple dances, all four guys at the same time. And then I just did a 10 minute dance then. It was great. I went up and I didn't even have to say hi. He was like, yep, he's going for a dance. Handed his card over. I was like, I'm trying to get him to work for me. So, you know. I want him to go for a lap dance. I'm like, perfect. So he took me, we were going to book an hour and then we needed the pin. So we didn't do an hour because he came and he was like, oh, maybe not an hour. So we did like a, a 10, which is all right. There's two people in here that I know from like ages ago that I talked about last week, but it's fine. <laughs> from the last time I talked to you, um, my regular ended up by leaving. He was too drunk, so I didn't end up doing the birthday dance, but I just danced for like my ex's best mate, which is hilarious. So like, keep it on the download. So obviously like no one's going to be able to figure out who it is from this, but yeah. That was interesting, he's actually such a sweetheart, like he's such a good chat and it was really nice to catch up with him because him and I used to be really close, so. Died down, pretty much all of it has died down at the moment, there's like a few people left in the club. But it's only like one o'clock and I got my total on the screen and it's actually not bad, like I've done pretty well tonight so far, like I'm really happy, it's better than last Friday, last Friday was a struggle, it was a struggle street. I'm really happy about my guy for a cheeky little dart where there's no one here, and we'll see, hopefully we can make some more money. Oh god, I just hit my head. From the last time I talked to you guys, I... What have I had? Oh yeah, I've had another... So my regular came in, the one that I haven't seen in ages, and he booked me for two 10 minutes, and then another 10 minutes, so he booked me for three 10 minutes. So he's gonna come back and book me a little bit later. But yeah, there's, there's not much not much going on, to be quite honest. The club's pretty dead at the moment. Brooklyn's not thriving. <laughs> I can't remember what dances I've done tonight. Just go up to the till and ask if you can have like your report my level of confusion right now is like we're gonna go for a dart they love you they love you so much <laughs> not thriving how are you supposed to live laugh love in these conditions Literally. have you had a good night yeah yeah we've been like in out in out in out it's been pretty good yeah we like top, top of school as well yeah. oh, i don't know if we can call it top of school but close enough yeah, close enough. Not really, yeah. It's like quick little flash. We like haven't seen each other all night. So yeah. we're gonna go out for a little solo But we've been next to each other in my like, <laughs> <Literally, laughs> <Literally. laughs> Literally. And we're like, hey girlfriend, hey, <laughs> hey baby. It's like we look at each other in the mirror. We yeah, we do. We're like, hello. <laughs> I've literally pinched a nerve in my back. You wanna feel it? Not really. No, you wanna feel it? No, you should. It literally feels like this big squishy ball. Like, ready? Right there. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah. It's sending like nerve pain all down my leg. It's like shaking. I was doing the leg, like the little leg shakes. <laughs> and, and my leg was going. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then like Layla and Frankie and stuff were feeling it. So it was, as I was finishing my dance, um, Frankie was like, oh, you're 21 this year? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I can't believe that. And then, and then Frankie was like, yeah, Brooklyn's younger. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, same year, just different grades and a little bit younger. Yeah, you got to go to work before me. Yeah. And go to schoolies. I didn't get schoolies because COVID. Yeah, I got schoolies, but I wasn't like booked with schoolies. I went down with like all of our friends. We just booked a hotel and the top level 
um, was yeah, all schoolies all people. Got to go, and yeah. I'm sitting at home like they were all having the time of their fucking lives. <laughs> we didn't even. I think we got into like the beach party and stuff, but yeah, we didn't go with any schoolies group. And you know what? I'm so glad we didn't because it was so much better, and we had the time of our lives. Because the guy that we, it was the Silverton, the guy that we, like, we rented, we went to the apartment. The whole top floor they put schoolies people there, and he lived away, so there was no one on the hotel at all. Oh. So he lived across the river. So if there was any issues, you called him, he would come back from the river. So yeah, there was just so much. There's stuff I've got to tell you guys on the podcast that's coming out soon. Yeah. This is a big story because it's got there's so much to tell you guys, and you've got to tune in for the podcast that I'll be it's releasing soon. It's a wild soon. story. It's a it's wild. I've got some wild stories. We have like a mini schoolies. Yeah, we, we went that? back down to the Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that's a story you need to tell. That is a podcast story coming out in the next three to four weeks. That Stay tuned. Like a Storm. Yeah, we've we've had some fun things. Can't wait to bring you on all the time for our crazy stories. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for a cheeky little dark because it's literally no one in the club, so we're gonna take advantage of that right now and then yeah. Try to make as much money as we can in the last hour. So the last time I talked to you, um, I had those three ten minutes and then I the guy that I danced for right at the beginning that booked me, like pre-booked me for half an hour with these two friends. He came back in again and he ended up by booking me. He only wanted to book me for 20 minutes, so he did two tens. And then when the 20 minutes was up, he ended up by wanting another um, 10 minutes, so he just booked me for another 10. Not bad, not bad. And like one of my friends who's like a security guard who I haven't seen in ages, he used to work here all the time when I first started. Um, he stopped in to say hi and he's like, you're looking beautiful. I was like, thanks. I haven't done the total up. I did the total a couple hours ago. It was pretty damn good. So I'm going to do the total up now. I'm going to sleep on it. And I'm going to tell you guys in the morning or when I get home, actually, maybe. I'm trying to make this vlog longer. I'm definitely going to get copyrighted tonight because there's been so much music in the background. And I don't have anyone to come chat with me at the end of the night because they're all booked and I'm going to go home. I'm not doing a nightly food run because I am exhausted and I got a little bit of a headache so I'm gonna go home and get some good sleep and refresh for tomorrow working four days is screwing me I keep thinking it's Saturday it's like screwing with my brain so I'm excited to just go get some sleep because yeah I'm tired I want to take these lashes off I put them on funky tonight and I don't know what happened here what happened here I don't know but oh my god now, now I'm stuck uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow or when I get home and we'll do the money count. I'm really, really excited um, because I feel like quiet season sort of already calming down. Like it's still quiet, but there's good money to be made. Good money to be made. We love it. But praying to the stripper gods really works, guys. Keep saying those prayers up because it's working. All right, guys, welcome to Saturday. I'm trying to find my shirt, so my apologies. I How do I lose a shirt? Like I'm just genuinely curious. Is that it? Oh, found it. I want to take some cute photos, so I took a little photo. It wasn't that cute, like my face wasn't cute in it. I just couldn't get the right angle for my face and my booty at the same time. So, also, you don't get to see me get changed. I'm gonna chat to you over here. So, I did the live photo and cropped my face out of it. It's actually really, really cute. Like I say, you gotta go, you gotta go follow my Instagram if you wanna see that shit, because I post some cute stuff on there that you wouldn't get on here. A bit different. I also get you guys involved on my Instagram, so just say I'm really trying to plug it. Really trying to plug it. All right, we're on the last night of the week. When I tell you I am exhausted, I'm exhausted. I'm also wearing the same shirt that I've been wearing all week. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want. I don't want you to judge me. Don't judge me. We're not doing it. We're not doing judgment here. Curled the hair. Here's a bigger curling barrel. Don't know if I like it. Don't know if I'm thriving with it, but it's fine. I've also got garters on, and it's making me look like I have the most biggest booty. Look at that. Ooh. Sneaky, 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 because I want to wear it underneath my stockings tonight. I don't know why, I just feel like I want to. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go through what I made yesterday. So, I don't know where my phone is. I did make $50 in tips, but I only did stage once. So... Yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't do... No? I didn't do stage at all. Actually, I lied. I'm a liar. I'm a liar part two. <clears throat> Coming soon. Okay. Um, yeah. Holy shit. I did a lot of... <laughs> I made $50 in tips. I then did a 10-minute couple dance right at the beginning. A 10-minute a dance. A 30-minute dance. A 5-minute dance. A 5-minute couples. 5-minute couples. A 10-minute. 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 <laughs> Say that as fast as you can. I sound like a new rapper. Put me on SoundCloud. Hello, drop me a beat. Hello, drop me a beat, babe. Drop me a beat. Why are you looking at me like that? I feed you. I feed. 
Why are you looking at me like, why do you look like you're about to attack me? The total that I ended up, what are you doing? My brain, cha 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 today, I don't know what's happening. I ended up by making $990 in commission. How good is that guys? How fucking good is that for quiet season? I love when the owner's in because I feel like it just makes me work even harder. Like I know I'm a hard worker, but I really bust me ass. I didn't even have time to say hi to him yesterday. I really busted me ass all night. Um, and I'm gonna pass on the $50 tip. So all up, I made $1,040 yesterday. I'm really aiming for another $1,000 night tonight to bump it up because if we add on what I made, the previous night, we're sitting on $1,734. So if I can make another $1,256, quick mass, I would be on a three grand week. So, so Cleo. I think we should. There was this guy last night, I was sitting out the front having a dart, and he like, we couldn't tell where he's from. He would change his accent from Irish to New Zealander to then English. And he was like, oh, I'm um, New Zealander and Irish. And I was like, you've got a little bit of uh, British in you too, mate. Because he just kept, every sentence was like a different, different, like, accent. I was like, pick one. Where are, you, where are you from? Pick one. Go away. I've blocked you. How are you still here? I'm confused. Block. Block. Ugh. Ugh. Get rid of those bad vibes. Carlo's like, my house is a mess. It's so dirty. I've got to clean it tomorrow. Um, I also, I my lashes for so long. So I bought new lashes today. They did not look good. They did not look good. I've lost a lash that matched this one. Actually, they're two different lashes. So I've I got this one still. I had that one. This one, when I tell you I redid this lash about 10 times, I kept finding lashes, like pairs of lashes, except it was only for this eye, not this one. So I had to make this lash. I literally glued so many different lashes together to make this. Can we talk about talent? Because I made, I made this whole thing. Let's talk about it. I just kept sticking lashes on top of each other. I'm surprised it doesn't look like a brick, o brick overlay. I'm gonna go get some of my energy out. I'm gonna go to work and stop being an annoying piece of shit. Oh yeah, it's a Valentine's Day party tonight. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys that. It's a Valentine's Day party if you guys are keeping up with the vaults in Scram. I'm wearing red. I wasn't going to. I was gonna be a bit of a Grinch and I was gonna wear blue, but I forgot to put my undies in the dryer and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be dry. So I'm just gonna actually double check that because I'd much rather wear my blue set, but yeah, I'm a bit of a dumbass and I just completely forgot to. Also, you know how I was saying like that guy would tell him to pick an accent? Mine's different. Mine's for shits and gigs. I just go British sometimes, don't know why. But he was he was alternating. I swear it makes sense in my head. Are they dry? Um, yeah. Yeah, kinda. Well, not really. They're a little damp, but we'll see how I feel. I'll put on like both sets and see which one I feel better in, I do be thinking. I'm gonna go to work now. I'm gonna get all of my energy out into manifesting. $1,256, I think. That was quick mass. Let's go make some money. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm pretty sure I came in when Brooklyn's on the, the little stage again. <laughs> it, this is her song. This is a country song, so I know it's her. There seems to be some blue girls out there, or it's the girls, I can't tell. Wait. Oh, no, I thought you might be able to hear them. Seems to be a few more people in here tonight. It seems a little bit more high energy, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, I'm wearing this red set that, I don't know if I vibe with, so I brought the blue set just in case, because, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I like feel good on it. Sometimes I feel shit. It just depends on the day. It depends on the day. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to hustle our asses off and I'll give you quite a bit of content tonight. But yeah, I'm going to head out there now because there's a lot of girls out the back. So I'm like trying to be quiet on here, but I'll be back soon. So main stage is about to open now. Um, I haven't done table dances and stage dances in ages. I usually don't hustle for them. I usually just try to hustle for lap dances. I did just get two stage dances though, so that's not a bad start to the night. As soon as I walked in, I got two basically. So 10 out of 10 for that. It's definitely the hair. I think the hair is what gives me confidence. It's the hair. I haven't even gone to gym this week. And it's still been good. Like, riddle me that. Riddle me. Like, I still feel good, if that makes sense. Like, I still feel good. All right, I'm not feeling so inflated right now. We love. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. Oh my God, you're so love cute. You. You're so cute. What the absolute hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just got so many videos of you just twerking and crumping. I think in every video for the past three weeks, it's been something of you twerking or crumping. I just had a lap dance. So I had two 15 minutes and it was this guy. And right at the beginning when I saw him, he looked very familiar. Like I knew him, but I thought I knew him from in here. Apparently I don't, because we were in the lap dance room. I was like, yeah, it's been like a year since I've seen you. It was usually my go-to if I don't remember them exactly. He was like, oh. She's on a mish over here. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, and so we're in the lap dance. He's like, oh, you let me kiss you on the cheek. And I was like, not here. And he was like, no, when we're at the cube. And I was like, huh? <laughs> and then it all came flowing back. Because he was like, we called him the Donut Man because we couldn't remember his name. 
So he called him Donut Man, and every time he'd be like, that's not my name, and I'm like, ugh. And so yeah, he like fell in love with me in here and booked me for 2.15, so he said he was gonna come book me a bit later as well. Hopefully he doesn't watch this and he doesn't, he doesn't see that I literally forgot who he was for a half a second. I thought I met him in here. So there was this couple I talked to right at the beginning of the night, but the girlfriend wasn't there, so I sort of G'd up the partner. And then after I came out of, um, uh, wait, no, after I came out from here, I went over to them straight away, and they ended up by booking me for a five minute couples. But other than that, I've literally hit up every other single person in the club, and no one else is spending money at the moment. So I've got one person in the back burner, but I'm not sure if they already left. I think they might have already left, which is annoying because they were like, that Pinky promised me. They're like, they're like, you can't break it. And I was like, okay. So that made me like certain that they were gonna book because he was like, you can't break it. But I think they left. They might come back later, but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully. But other than that, it's been pretty good so far. I've had a decent amount of dances for the time that it is. I'm happy. I'm here on a quick break. I ended up by phoning these two guys, and they just booked four, four minute like. I mean, four 10 minute couples, which is like $400. And then the other guy just left, so then I just got rebooked for like 15 minutes with him. He said he's not done yet, so he's gonna keep booking me. But I'm so sweaty. I had to come out the back for a little break because I'm literally so sweaty. Also, the Midnight Show, Marilyn Monroe themed. I'm so sweaty. Brooklyn and I are both topless because we both gotta go back to bookings after freshening up. Love to see it. Update um, Brooklyn and I went. I don't know. What is that? Anyways, oh wait, I did come and update you guys on my break. Anyways, yeah, so you booked that f another 15 and then another 15 after the list. And then I did my total out the front. Looking very, very good. Looking very good for the week. Very, very happy with it. Brooklyn. Oh my god. I nearly flashed a titties to you guys. I just turned around and titties are out. The guy I was dancing for was like pretty cute, actually. I don't know if you saw him. He was pretty cute. You were the dining I was over the dining Yeah, the it's, very, it's very rare they say like patrons are pretty cute, but he's pretty cute. He's very persistent, very persistent. And like trying to take me for a date, and I was like, Ugh. but yeah. I just got jiggled and wiggled. Got jiggled and wiggled. You listened to 10 minutes just then, and I was like, I love when that Wah! happens. Wooska! Wooska! You gotta do the elbow thing. No, my elbow is fucked. What? <laughs> it's the Oscar thing, like, wait, hold it. <laughs> Oscar! <laughs> Maybe you've got a knot in your elbow. I don't know, because one's swollen and one's not. Ooh. That does not look like a good time. Bye! We've got an hour left of the night, so we're gonna go out and hustle our little booties off to make some extra money. Let's go make some more money. Alright guys, it is the- what was that? That was a weird- uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's the end of the night. I'm so tired. I'm actually exhausted. I'm really busting out. I don't have like two smokes tonight. I literally am so exhausted. We're winning on our regular. Brooke and I were winning on our regular right at the end of the night, but he didn't bring enough money with him. But he said that he would be locked out. Like the lockout would already be in place, so he wouldn't be able to come back in. So love that. It's alright. Still had a really, really good night otherwise, but my back's doing that thing again. Like, I've got a pinched nerve in my back, it's really bad. Went to the doctors today about it. Yesterday, my whole leg was twitching. Now it just looks like I have, like, like the twi- it looks like I'm tweaking. Like, my leg's, like, twitching. It's not cute. Exactly how you just did. <laughs> just, we'll call him Greg. Yeah, Greg. Okay, so I was on stage and a regular wanted to tip me and he wanted me to bend over so he could see everything. So I did this. And he went. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did you do? <laughs> Bro, I can't. There's literally the cat dry heave. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> my god. That's the end of the night. So I'm going to take off my makeup now. I'm so excited to take off my makeup and then um, wait for my money and then I'll see you guys tomorrow with the money count.
I'm really excited for how much we made for the week. I'm gonna do the weekend total and then I'll do the whole week total so you guys can see how much. And I'm telling you what guys, really, really good for quiet season. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Like we're doing well. Those prayers that you guys are sending up, bless your cotton socks. You guys are literally, you're pulling through. You're all pulling through. I love all of you so much. Also, while we're here, make sure to hit the bell notifications because most of you guys are not getting my videos. I've, all of my subscribers, I think I talked about it in the last one or this one, all of my subscribers, from ages ago have been like finding me again being like I thought you dropped off the face of the earth I'm like nope still here <laughs> so yeah please turn on your notifications so you don't miss my videos much love I'll see you guys in the morning all right guys it is now Sunday and we're gonna do the money count I'm also just woke up like a little bit ago so mind my oh god I was a bit harsh on my face just then mind my tiredness this week was really really good and you know what? I think I've always been like a hard hustler. I know that, but I always like just fizzle out in the middle of the nights when I'm working there sometimes. I don't know what it is. I think it's just sometimes my mentality. If I'm not in the right mentality, I still hustle well and I'll still get dances. But this week I hustled a lot more because I wanted so much to tell you guys. I wanted to tell you guys so much more. I wanted to be able to come back and give you guys more content. Every time I got booked, I wanted to be able to save up a shit ton of money. And I've just, I was just on the, on the money like I was literally on the ball like I was like bum 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 and like granted it was really it was quite busy like we did have a good amount of patrons come in through the club this week for quiet season it was really really good but I was literally bouncing in and out like I would go plant my seeds come back go do a lap dance come back go grab someone come back go do a lap dance plant my seeds with someone else go for a lap dance come back to the person I planted my seeds with you know that sort of thing and also like that guy who booked the four 10 minute couples and then the two 15 minutes he was a literal lifesaver it always only takes one so you know what's funny is that me and Lacey were literally out the back earlier in the night being like it only takes one and it only took one and it was really like I can't tell what what's been in the air the last two nights but it has not been hard hustles like it hasn't been pulling teeth it feels like Christmas time it literally was just like a five second chat and I was getting booked it was ridiculous like I didn't even have to make small talk I don't even know I was so happy for it I just it was very different this week like it just wasn't hard hustles except for Wednesday and Thursdays that was a hard hustle that was more pulling teeth but Fridays and Saturdays was just you know go up introduce yourself ask if anyone wants to dance and then boom like obviously like still in a cute little way like you still gotta work your way into the conversation but yeah, it definitely wasn't bad at all. But yeah, I'm gonna go through the tips that I made last night. I didn't do stage either Friday or Saturday. Booked and busy. <laughs> I'm gonna go through what I made in tips. I made $40 from that lovely lady that li <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about crumb sausage. 50, 60, and then $65 in tips. Ooh yeah. And now we're going to go through what dances I did. I love like scrolling and just seeing so many numbers. Like it's just so nice. I'm like, yeah. So I did a 15 minute dance right at the beginning. Another 15 minute dance. A five minute couples. A five minute dance. Five minute couples. A half an hour. A 10 minutes couples. A 10 minute couple. A 10 minute couple. A 10 minute couple. A 15 and a 15. So all up in commission yesterday, I made $1,168. And then if I plus on the amount that I made, plus on the $60 or $65, I made $1,233 yesterday on the Saturday. What in the hell? I'm so, so thankful for it, honestly. Like, I'm so grateful. Um, I was expecting it to be a little more rough this week, working four nights. Like, I'm tired. I'm exhausted working four nights. And, like, I know people work big hours and big days and stuff and I'm sitting here like I'm exhausted but I'm in night work shifts definitely take it out of you a bit more but I'm very thankful for working them and I'm going to be working look at all these all these four coins Layla gave me so many 20 cents coins oh, look at all these hundreds oh yeah baby look at all those bad boys what I made for the week. Also, <clears throat> I've got a plus on $300 because I took $300 out to pay Savannah last night because we're going to a photo shoot with a very good photographer, very famous photographer, um, and she paid down the deposit, so I was just giving her cash after work. So I'm just gonna add in $300 right at the end. Um, yeah, you guys can total up what I made through the week through here if you don't, if you think that I'm just adding on random money, but I promise I had to take $300 out for it. 
Why are you sniffing the Thames? Out of everything, you sniff the Thames. Why is that $10 note so gross? All up for the wig I made. One, actually, up just 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a thousand. So that's three thousand. 5, 10, 15. So all up for the week, I made $3,015. Not bad, ladies and gents. Not fan bad at all. Hey, baby. Even Harlow's impressed. Even Harlow's impressed. Ooh, the little baby. Ooh, the little babes. Oh, no, you look like mommy, baby. She looks like such a little pimp. Ready? Pimping you out, G. Actually over the moon with that, guys. Like, I'm dead ass over the goddamn moon. I am so beyond happy about that. I really, I don't know. Like, I really wanted a really good week and I got it. And I'm really, really happy and I'm really, really excited about it because it's just like, it's just, I love doing really good weeks when, you know, everything's going against you. Like, you know, you've got like quiet season, people don't have any money, inflation. All that sort of thing and then you come out with still really good weeks and I am couldn't be more grateful and honestly I roll it down to you guys praying on the strip of gods <clears throat> but yeah that's the end of my part two I really hope you guys enjoyed doing two parts I think it'll be really fun um, I think it'll just like have a little bit more oomph to it I'm just keen to keep it going I think that yeah it's just gonna be a little bit more beneficial for you guys and it'll keep you guys interested instead of it being a little boring I'm trying to cut my videos a bit differently now so it's not just so and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened because it's boring and I get that it's boring I don't like watching videos like that either I skip through them so I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different with you guys um, but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you guys get my notifications because I really want everyone to be notified when my videos are coming out. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. All of my social media is linked below in the description as always. Uh, make sure you go follow my Instagram. I'm trying to get to 10K. Pretty please. We're almost at 6,000. Almost, we're at 5,951. So close yet so far. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you beautifuls in the next one. Bye. Talk dirty to me.